All right, so first for our gait video, um, we had the disease we had is cerebellar ataxia. So with this cerebellar ataxia, it's basically a lack of muscle control and voluntary movements. And it's a form of ataxia that is going to be originating in the cerebellum, the cerebellum part of your brain. Um, so some of the symptoms for this um, type of gait deviation is poor coordination and or balance. Um, difficulty with fine motor task and may, may or may conclude like some stumbling if they haven't really been um, coordinated a lot with some of the activities that we're going to be showing you. And it may cause like difficulty swallowing. Now, some of the causes are it could be head trauma, a stroke, uh, cerebral palsy, infection, tumor, or a toxic reaction and or like with medication. Now the treatment would be physical therapy and to strengthen like the upper extremity and lower extremities and educating the patient with um, the use of assistive devices depending on how severe the ataxia is. So my assistant here is going to show us some of just a demonstration of the gait cycle um, in normal gait cycle first. So a normal gait cycle would be like a two-point gait. So it's just a nice fluid two-point gait. Now we're gonna uh, we're gonna continue now with the cerebellar ataxia gait. This is more with less control and the, the, the coordination is really out of whack. And you can notice they don't really get a lot of. It's not so. It's not really fluid. And it always, it, it kind of seems like they're very unbalanced. There's not a lot of heel to toe strike as they're going through it. It's just more flat foot kind of stumping going in the, uh, going around. So that's, that's it for us. Um, my name is Earl Hedgeman. I'm a student physical therapist assistant at Carroll Community College. My name is Zach. I'm a student physical therapist assistant at Carroll Community College. And we're signing off.